Hey, Dr. Bob Flower, and this is uh, Tuesday, December 3rd, Master Pattern Report. Okay, so if you think things are screwed up, stand by. They're going to get a lot worse. Uh, this economy is headed into a, a stagflation. Uh, it's a combination of inflation and deflation. The deflation is looks like it's coming first. Oil prices are falling through the uh, floor. Uh, commodities are starting to really drop precipitously not starting they are and they're, they're accelerating uh, the euro is, is is tanking big time which which will mean uh, a, more than likely a breakup of uh, the European uh, community uh, so that's that's confusing issues that's making it uh, borrowing and lending uh, all that much more treacherous um, and my concern is, um, especially if rates are, are going to go up, and it looks like they are, even if it's just a tiny bit, it's the psychology up as compared to down, right? It's really going to screw things up, especially uh, overseas uh, and third world, because those people are hurting. They're not going to be able to, to meet the debt service. Uh, and that means that banks and institutions that are doing business over there and have lots of money over there uh, may very well hit, hit the floor, okay? So uh, you better watch out with that. Companies that you, any of these universal companies, these international companies, uh, I don't care how solid they are. I would, I would kind of watch what's going on. Banks and whatnot don't like what's going on, folks. And this is just a continuance of um, bad principles. Um, and then to make it worse, you've got a, um, you've got international economics being affected by, uh, by, by fighting, by wars. You've got in Syria, um, uh, you know, the, the Russians are trying to keep uh, the, 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 the king in, in place there. And they're supposedly fighting ISIS, but instead they're, they're bombing the hell out of uh, the resistance fighters uh, against uh, the Syrian government. We're working with the Russians, supposedly, the, to take out the, uh, the ISIS people, and um, uh, we're looking to, to take the leadership and govern, government out of Syria. So uh, even if we're successful in getting rid of ISIS there, we have a more serious problem. The Russians and their control uh, in Syria. So uh, it's become another uh, Russian satellite. Putin is looking better and stronger, and I'll tell you, uh, he's winning the hearts and minds of the world um, because we have vacated um, our, our and abdicated our power and our position of, of leadership. It, this is this is not working, folks. Um, uh, and then, in, in in addition to that, this um, um, this influx of of uh, immigrants legal or illegal, I don't care what you call them, uh, is, having a, is, is, is already having a problem with our economy, and it's going to have an even greater problem with our economy, uh, and it's going to cause even more consternation. Things are going to get worse. More money is going to be printed. Rates go up. I mean, you know, this is, this is absolute disaster. I mean, you know, like, get ready to go to the farm. Uh, we, are, we are in some deep crap. I told you this has already been started six months ago. Well, it's it's starting to uh, it's starting to accelerate, and it, it's going to precipitate to the downside, even worse coming up. All right. Um, uh, in addition to all of that, uh, there's been an announcement recently of a massive oil discovery uh, by uh, by this country. I mean, supposedly the greatest of any place in the world. And um, uh, it, it, if, if this is true, and the sources seem to be very reliable that it is true, I mean, you can kiss OPEC goodbye. If you kiss OPEC goodbye, that might be a good thing for our country, but a bad thing for the world, and eventually not a good thing for the United States, right? So uh, because of the, the crummy leadership that's, uh, that doesn't know how to use, uh, use the, the advantages of assets, okay, and... and uh, world connections, right? Uh, and by the way, uh, announcement: um, the first, uh, second week in January, we are going to uh, announce 
the um, winner of the presidential race. Um, we, our, our, our behavioral predictor model, which uh, we have been developing and is in, in excellent position, uh, we're testing it right now and it looks great. This is really unbelievable. Um, I'm, I'm writing papers and a book on this. This is, this is really incredible. We will make a prediction on uh, the next president of the United States. Okay, um, that's second week in, uh, in January. Uh, next, um, all right, so let's talk a little bit about San Bernardino, what, what occurred there. You know, one of the most curious things was uh, uh, one of the Democratic candidates immediately came at, and, a, and a number of other, uh, uh, other uh, liberal thinkers came out with the argument that we need more gun control. Um, you know, another PC uh, anointment. However, this occurred because of political correctness. This is this what this, this doesn't fall on guns, gun control. And the reason I say that is this: the neighbor next door saw that there was suspicious uh, activity going on over a period of time, but they were afraid to report it because they were concerned about being called racists, or profilers, political correctness, at work, killing 14 people. That's what did it. Had that person contacted authorities, it may well have been that this would, would not have occurred. And let's talk about let's talk about the guns. If we had totally eliminated guns in this country, total, no guns. Does anybody here think that something like what happened in San Bernardino would not have happened? I mean, how naive and how stupid could you be? They don't need they don't regard gun control as something that's going to stop them. It's like criminals. Like it's like it's like gangsters. It, it, it's so. Stupid. I mean, it's just a matter of controlling the people and, and uh, from, from overthrowing the government. I, I've said this before. The Second Amendment wasn't made for hunting. It was made to keep the politicians, the office holders, in line. That's what it was all about, to throw them out by force if need be. That's the basis of the Second Amendment. And it's the reason why they haven't completely taken control of the country that they have throughout the world, and the reason why things are uh, what's keeping ISIS from from striking us as 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 hard as they are in other areas. These are all gun control uh, uh, countries that that they're hitting big time. And one other thing about this whole political correctness in gun control. There are two countries in the world two other countries in the world that have open gun control. Right? And in the 75 year history of both of those countries, the murder rate was one. One murder in both of those countries in the past 75 years. Why? It's because of the liberal open society that we have today. The total disregard for authority and for values and uh, and things of justice all misguided the the, the uh, I want generation the politically correct generation this is not good for us folks this is not working I'm sorry it's 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 a dream it's it's something that needs to be put asunder we can't survive like this this is this is plain stupidity it's 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 the, the you, you and again another example is you couldn't get a, a more prominent gun control uh, atmosphere than what you have in Chicago and yet Chicago is one of the biggest uh, offenders uh, uh, murder offenders uh, in this nation I mean you know what is it like 30 a month 30 a week I, I don't know what some insane number of murders uh, you know, on a regular basis there so it, it, it's the mentality, it's the focal point, it's the frame of reference that our society has that's bringing this all about. Guns 
were made to kill. People were not made to kill, but they do. And they were made, they were, they, they were, they were made to protect. Okay, it's how they're used that's the most important thing. Not the fact that they exist. And we're not addressing that. We're looking at this in entirely the wrong way. All right. Um, we talked about the president. We talked about uh, uh, about how the economy is tanking and will continue to tank. And I think you're going to see a, a dramatic increase in this. Um, we, 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 we still like our, our metals, uh, especially when I think uh, we start to see people talk about stagflation um, on, a, on, a, uh, on a more regular basis. Keep tuned, folks. Keep your powder dry. Find that place up state. Find the farms. Grow, grow the potatoes and the tomatoes. See you soon.